when you were watching the confrontation outside the store, did you ever feel like a need to step in at that point? It really didn't seem to be that serious. Infinite lives are changed over a bag of chips. Only on two tonight, a man relives the moments of a gas station clerk's murder over a stolen bag of chips. And he's sharing what he saw before and after the clerk's confrontation with the suspected killer. Loved ones have identified the clerk as Asif Magnosia. Prosecutors charged 17-year-old Mario Young with murder. Police say his accomplice, an 18-year-old, has not been charged at this time. KPRC2's Coralie Peel spoke exclusively with the man who saw the tragedy unfold. She's joining us now live from the Sunoco in Humble with what he says the surveillance cameras did not show. Corley. The witness I spoke with says he was sitting in his car here in this parking lot when he saw that confrontation between the clerk and the teens. He says he wants to share what he saw because the clerk didn't live to share his side of the story. A bag of chips changed multiple lives, including a witness. I could have never imagined that on this day, on this very day, that 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 would happen over a bag of chips. He asked to remain anonymous, but says he watched these two teens walk into the Seneca Friday morning. The clerk walks in behind them. Surveillance shows one of the teens put a bag of chips in his pants. Both teens leave. The clerk walks out to confront them. The teens walk away. It's the last time we see them on surveillance. He had his car keys in his hand and he was started yelling to them to come back. He's like, hey, hey, they initially looked back at him and they flipped him off and then they continued on their way and he was saying, hey, again, hey, come back here. And then they started jogging. The witness says the clerk followed the teens in his car. He turned to kind of pull up beside them and that's when I was up and I was turning the opposite way. Um, next thing you know, I heard two gunshots and I looked back and I could see the shooter firing more shots at the car. He saw the teens run away in different directions, rushing to help the clerk. He calls 911. And I'm sitting there saying, hey, buddy, buddy, man. Hey, hey, dude, are you okay? So when I looked in through the window, he seemed to be unresponsive. Community activist Quanell X says the shooter, 17-year-old Mario Young, and the second teen are claiming self-defense, saying the clerk had a gun. Did you notice any guns or weapons inside the car? I didn't see any guns. I didn't see a gun on the seat. Or, or next to him. The witness wishes the confrontation over a bag of chips could have ended differently. If, if I could go back in time, I would pull out my car and block his car. Or I would just say, hey man, just, just you know, just lead him kid. Man, it ain't even worth it, man. You know, I would offer to pay for the bag of chips. And we have spoken with the clerk's family. They didn't wish to go on camera, but they said he was a loving father and husband. Again, at this time, only one of the teens has been charged in this case, but we, of course, will keep you updated. Reporting live from Humble, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.